Hi, now we are discussing the most important topic of inorganic chemistry uh, in the point of CSIR and GATE examinations. Okay, here, so that is John Teller distortion. So, so many of you heard about John Teller distortion. So, in this lecture, I'm going to give the basic level of uh, explanations of uh, John Teller distortion, which make you understand uh, more. I hope it. Thank you. Right, so first thing, what John Teller distortion tells tells us. So here, in an electronically degenerate state, a nonlinear molecule undergoes distortion to remove the degeneracy by lowering symmetry and thereby lowering the energy. So that is what uh, John Teller distortion tells us. What is that? In an electronically degenerate state, a nonlinear molecule undergoes distortion to remove the degeneracy by lowering symmetry and thereby lowering the energy. So first thing, what is electronically degenerate state? For example, if the electrons occupies, if the electrons occupies the orbitals in the same energy level, okay, if electrons occupies in the same energy level, uh, orbitals of the same energy level, so that is simply called as electronically degenerate state okay so in this kind of arrangement in this degenerate states electrons get some repulsion so that's why the energy increases okay so to lower this energy to lower the degenerate orbitals the energy of degenerate orbitals uh, complexes wants to rid of this extra energy so that's why it is splits into another sub orbital so sub energy levels okay so by doing this um, splitting of degenerate orbitals they get uh, they, they rid of their extra energy and they get stability okay so uh, this kind of distortion now uh, this kind of dis distortion is explained by john teller so that's why we are here to discuss John Teller distortion. So by using John Teller distortion, we can predict the geometries of many transition metals. So which have uh, some and some deviations in the distortions in their normal octahedral positions uh, to study uh, those uh, abnormal um, geometries of some of the transition metals. Now we are here to discuss John Teller distortion. Okay, so in another way we can say that John Teller distortion theorem states in molecules or ions, so uh, have degeneracy, degenerate ground state, uh, then the molecules or ions distort to remove degeneracy. Okay, so what we explained in this point, right? Okay, so here in, in these two diagrams, I am going to tell you that uh, one is Z-out distortion and one another one is Z-in distortion, okay? So, this is very possible for uh, D9 electronic configurations of transition metal atoms. So, the best example for D9, copper 2, okay? So, John Teller distortion is uh, well explained uh, by using this electronic configuration that is D9 and uh, with uh, copper 2. So, that is D9 electronic configuration, okay? So, first thing... Uh, a Z out distortion here. So Z out distortion means what is happening in the geometries of octahedral complex of octahedral copper two complex here. The uh, that means the bonds uh, which are uh, formed on the metal central metal ion copper two. So that is the ligands which are attached or attached to the metal through the Z axis are elongated. So here that is what we are uh, um, assuming here, right? And at the same time, uh, if the Z axis, the ligands on Z axis there gets elongated, so that's why it is simply called as Z out distortion. And if you observe uh, the same pattern with uh, another arrangement, so here the ligands on Z axis they are coming towards the metal, so this is simply called as Z in distortion. Okay, so now we are going to discuss uh, uh, complete. So, explanation on these distortions from D1 to D10 electronic configurations of transition metals, okay? Distor distortions are possible in the arrangement of, uh, in the geometry, or that means in the orbitals of uh, transition uh, metals, if the electrons occupied in the, in the orbitals asymmetrically, okay? So, that is the main point. And symmetrically, if the electrons arranged in the orbitals 
in unsymmetrically unsymmetrically so then they get distortion okay right so if uh, electrons arranged in the uh, orbitals that means in t2g and eg levels of octahedral complexes there is no chance of uh, distortion okay this point you should remember right now so look at here so this is the regular octahedral uh, 